Hi, my name is Gary Keating, Director of Golf at the Club at Shell Point. We're going to talk about um, a couple little tips on the golf swings that I see uh, periodically when I play in pro-ams with members and, um, and guests. Basically, it is, um, I know that in your golf bag today that you have two or three golf clubs that you hit the same distance. So we're going to give you the um, secret on why you do that, and we're going to give you the um, solution. Basically, the reason why you hit the golf ball the same distance with a couple of the irons is ball position. And then I'll give you the secret on getting the ball up in the stance and the correct posture and position of the golf ball to um, take that problem out of sync. So basically, when we play golf, we're looking to hit golf balls a certain distance. If we hit it too far or too short, generally it's in trouble. So we're going to look at a bad ball position in just a second. So I'm going to show you the illustration of the old ball position, the old philosophy. The old philosophy was to move the, the longer irons, the threes and the fours, way up front, and the fives and the six and the sevens in the middle of the stance, and the pitching wedge and the nine iron way back in the stance. So I'm going to show you an illustration, and each one of the lofts will actually look the same. Then what I'll do is I'll move it into the correct position and you'll see you'll see the effective loft of the golf club. And what that'll do for you when you play golf will hit a nice height and distance and distance control. So let's go down and look at the old philosophy right here. So the old philosophy was maybe four I'm way in the stance, three and four I'm way in the stance, five, six and seven, kind of in the middle. And we're going to move the wedge to the back of the stance. And as you can see in this illustration right here, all of them locks lofts either look similar or close enough. Basically there should be 22 degrees difference between my four iron and my pitching wedge. And as you can see in this illustration it looks like they're the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this problem right now by correctly setting the golf ball and the club and the shaft in the correct position. So this is the shaft right here of the four iron. This is the butt of the club. I always want the butt of the club to be in the center of my belly button or my belt. So three inch off the inside lead heel. Okay, butt of the club in the belly. That's my four iron. Same ball position for the seven iron. Okay, and as you can see, we can now start to see different loft controls of the clubs. And now I'm gonna put the wedge in the same mix. And as you can see, we've now got different lofts on the golf clubs. So basically, by setting the golf ball in the correct position, we'll not only control the height and the distance for different golf clubs, we'll have two or three different golf clubs will go, to, go different distances. So once again, if you're hitting golf balls the same distance, it's more than likely your ball position. I want the ball position to be the same for every golf shot, and I want the effective loft of the golf club to do its job. So we'll look at the actual one we've got the club forward right here. So here's the old philosophy again. So I'm going to place this four iron on top of the shaft. And as you can see, the four irons forward, you can see the leading edge, which is this. It's poking out a little bit. So as the club comes down, the leading edge hits the ball first and we gently catch it thin. Okay, the correct position would be here. So as you can see, the shaft is straight up and down and the club is kind of soling itself out. So that's a four iron. We're going to look at a 7-iron right now. 7-iron, basically 3 inch off the inside left heel. It puts the shaft up and down. We have the correct loft and the correct lie of the club. And then we'll go down, we'll look at the final part of, part of this puzzle right here. The wedge. If you play the wedge forward in the, or back in the stance, the leading edge is going to dig on you. Okay? And we've now taken that pitcher wedge to more like a 7 or a 6-iron. So I'm going to move the wedge up in the stance. And this bottom part of the golf club, this is what we're trying to utilize and use. That is the correct place it should be. So once again, if it's back, there's no loft. We're going to hit it lower and longer and also going to dig the club in. So I want the club right there, three inch off the inside left heel and the shaft straight up and down. I hope this helps you guys and I know it will do a couple things to your golf game. It will give you a lot more control. And you'll also get different distances from different golf clubs. If you need to um, talk about this or you need to see me or con contact me, you can get me at uh, the Pro Shop at Shell Point. And that phone number is 239-433-9790. You can also contact me on the web by using our web page. You can send me a message. And that web page is theclubatshellpoint.com. Thank you and have a great day.